All right, this round shows off the Lionfish plus Egyptian Vulture combo. So Lionfish was changed so that it is deal four damage to a random enemy for every 10 attack that it has on Faint. Um, Egyptian Vulture activates the Faint ability of the friend behind. So um, it used to be one of the worst pets in the game, but now that Lionfish ability is actually one of the best things in the game, it actually made Egyptian Vulture possibly useful. And thanks to the person who suggested this in the comments, um, yeah, Egyptian Vulture had to be, I think, the worst pet in the game, but now if you can actually get it to level up and have some scaling, it's a little bit tricky because you have to scale the Egyptian Vulture and you have to scale the Lionfish, and then you also have to like level them both up, so it's a little bit tricky, but we can use customs and things get kind of broken because you can do buy sell with Starfish, and that is extremely efficient scaling early on, and then you have like Cat, T-Rex, Monkey, all that stuff later on, so there's just so much scaling available that it ends up uh, working out pretty well. But level three lionfish deals 12 damage to a random enemy. If it has 50 attack, it repeats it five times. So it deals uh, 60 damage total. And if you happen to have a level three Egyptian vulture, you can make it activate three times. So you can deal 180 damage with the Egyptian vulture. And then you deal 60 more from the lionfish fainting. And then you can add in like pteranodon and all that stuff for even more damage. So it's pretty insane. Um, I'll just take an ox here just for a decent buff target for early starfish so we don't lose. Beta fish level 2, that's going to be great as well. But yeah, this is mostly a buy sell pack. I have mouse, like chinchilla, marmoset, pig, duck, beaver, just all the cells. And I probably should add a donut in here. I guess it could also do that. Don't really get to see that too often. Anyway, a random thing I want to bring up. I, I watched Northern Lion play Tetria, which I never thought would happen. Um, he's played like Tetris 99 in the past, but for those who don't know, which actually I imagine is probably a bit just about everyone, I've played Tetris for a very long time, like a few years actually really trying to improve, and Tetrio is one of those websites. There's also Gestris, they're both free if you want to go try and play them for yourself. But yeah, you can get really hardcore into Tetris and try to improve a lot. There's a lot to that game, there's a lot of setups to learn, there's a lot of just like things to improve at. You can get faster, learn more T-spin setups. It's just overall pretty crazy. And Tetrio has ranked, so you can do ranked 1v1s, and you can try to grind and up your TR. And yeah, I probably put like 2,000 hours or something into Tetris, and I got a sub-30 second sprint. You can actually go back on this channel and see that, which is around like 3.33 pieces per second or something like that, which uh, is pretty decent. I was pretty happy with that. I haven't really played too much Tetris lately, but um, it is interesting. I guess if you're just looking for a random game that's free, that can be competitive, also doesn't require a very good computer, um, yeah, you can try Tetris out for yourself. I, I hope that he plays ranked, because he only played the, like, the Battle Royale kind of mode, where it's just like Tetris 99, but watching him play 1v1s in ranked, I think, would be interesting. Even though it's a terrible stream game. I also made a video about that, because Tetris requires, like, 100% of your focus. You can't look at chat. It's also really hard to talk while playing, and it's kind of repetitive if you actually end up playing for that long. But um, watching top players is pretty insane. If Another random thing, if you want to watch the world record sprint, sprint is you clear 40 lines as fast as possible in Tetris. Anyone want to guess the world record? I mean, I can't hear you, but I'll pretend like I can. Uh, the world record is under 15 seconds for 40 lines, which is equivalent to about 7 pieces per second. And um, it usually takes around like 3 or so inputs to place a piece. So you're talking about 21 inputs a second to do a 40 line sprint. It's insane. You should watch it. Just Google or YouTube um, like 40 line sprint world record for Tetris. And you'll probably think it's like a, it's fake or that it's a like task or something. A tool assisted. And it's not. It's a human who's just insanely fast. There's plenty of humans who I guess are insanely fast. Anyway, that's probably enough about Tetris. Um, you could also watch like there's some streamers like Kaboozled who uh, is like one of the top players in the game, or like Blarg, and they're, uh, they're super fast and super good. It's incredibly like satisfying just to watch them like play a lot of time because their down stacks are like perfect and efficient, and you get to see like combos that end in Tetrises, and it's really impressive. Um, but yeah, so we just have a starfish on the team and a vulture. That's it. That's all I have, but that's all I need because it turns out I don't even have an ability really with this vulture behind it. Um, Usually, like, 
I don't even know what's the best thing. Like, you could have a blobfish, a turtle, um, a stilts. I'm trying to think. What actual useful ability? I guess, like, the beta fish maybe is probably the best one, just for some extra stats. That's pretty nice. And, yeah, early cat is going to be pretty good. But I'll just go ahead and end on monkey and take this cat next turn. And just roll... So, uh, ideally, in the end game, I, pro I didn't really... This was honestly my second attempt doing this run, so I did not have a ton of time to adjust the pack accordingly. But what I should have added, I think, was maybe, like, bats or something so that I could apply weakness, or maybe act, try to go for a skunk on the team so that way, like, the lionfish plus vulture actually kill things. Um, but there is stingray in this pack, so I could try to go for a sticky... Or no, Stinky Sock, which I guess is pretty similar to Skunk. And it works out perfectly where if there's a 50-50 with Melon, you Stinky Sock it, it gets down to 30 HP, and then your 50-50 with Melon will just one-shot, which would be perfect for the Vulture. But yeah, Turtle, gonna go ahead and go in, I guess. I probably don't actually need that. I was hoping to find a pill, but instead I rolled into Double Chocolate, so I guess I'm not gonna be able to roll for pill. And I probably should have just sold the uh, Turtle and put in the Zebra, but that's okay. Like, I, I make a bunch of mistakes. I'll just blame the fact that I'm either listening to a podcast or music, even though I'm completely paying attention to the game, and that's not really true. You can still make excuses, even though they're not true, right? People do that. And, yeah, I'm just going to end up selling this turtle, because I don't really want to steal buffs, and I can just find Melon in the shop. So, goodbye, and buy sell zebra, buy sell pig, uh, put in alpaca, and then, I guess, just get level one and a half cats. Since I will need a way to scale the lionfish, cat is going to be the solution. I could just sell the cat and then take level 2 cat. But um, mouse is actually kind of perfect. I could buy, sell mouse, and then actually get to use the cat ability. Plus I get the 2-2 from the starfish. Although it would steal the alpaca trigger, so maybe not. An actually good team. Unfortunate. I, I gotta eventually find this lionfish. There we go. Turn 12. Not too bad. Plus it gets the alpaca, which is perfect. Go ahead and level that guy up. Another one for next turn. That's going to be level 2 and 2 thirds. Alpaca is still really nice. And Pteranodon, not really necessary. Just looking for some scaling. I have Chicken Leg in this pack. I could even take Fried Shrimp, I guess. Um, but I also have Pears, so I guess just looking for those two things. And Mantis Shrimp, kind of unfortunate. You can see the damage is pretty lackluster at the moment, just dealing 8 damage. But... You'll see it starts to get insane. It takes a little bit for this to get rolling, but once you actually get the perfect team, it pays off so satisfyingly, and it's just incredibly OP. So that's a, that's usually a good thing in the game, when it takes a bit of effort to actually get the run going, but once you do, it's very worth it. And level 2, that's just instant 50. I don't know if I really needed to do that, but there we go. 50-50 with garlic means... Won't die to another 50 attack unit. There's level 3 Lionfish. Perfect. And uh, now I just need to get its attack up. Looking pretty good. And I guess I also want level 3 Vulture. Only issue is, again, pretty late game. It's pretty unlikely that I'm actually going to get 3 kills. Um, yeah, I just died in one hit there. Would be nice to have Melon. But um, it would have been perfect. I don't know if I actually got a run in here where I got uh, all 3 triggers. Especially since, like... The team would probably just die by that time anyway. It would clear out pretty much everything by the time it got to kill three things. I'll just take these oysters. Why not? Um, let's see. How much gold? Eight gold. So I can buy, sell crow and buy the chocolate for five. So I'd have three left. And then I could, I guess, just end on blobfish and hope to run into a pill. Uh, not really great odds of finding pill, but maybe it would be worth it. And Tiger Leopard uh, kills my Lionfish. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. I didn't really think about that. But the Lionfish should be scaled up pretty quickly. As long as I could just find one food. And there we go. Double Chicken Leg with level 2 and level 1 Cat. Oh my god. Plus 12, plus 12 twice. Just a solid 24, 24 on that Lionfish in one turn. Nothing big. And I don't really need the Cat anymore. So go ahead and just take the level 3 Vulture. And um, Pteranodon. Yeah, that'll work. Just to fill out the team. Um, pretty insane. Although, maybe I would like to try to find a Stingray or something to apply, like, weakness. I Oh, you know what I should have put in is Mongoose. Then I could have gotten Coconut in front. Yeah, I should have done that. Uh, I think that was missing in this pack. I could take Pizza. 
uh, I don't really, I'm getting pretty close to 50-50 anyway, so yeah, I just sell the cat, and now the odds are much better to hit the lionfish. And do I need the T-Rex? I guess not. Just take the Pteranodon. That'll get it to 50-50. Perfect. Another cat. Not necessary. Oyster. Sure. And here we go. The full squad. Almost at 50 attack. Can I get some kills, please? Oh, it only kills one thing. But hey, it works on knockout, which is still very much an improvement from what it was before. Because it was so bad before. But now with Lionfish and the fact that it works like Rhino, and when it trades, it still activates actually like some value in this um i don't know if it's really worth putting in your custom packs but it's worth for the fun maybe double pteranodon i guess the t-rex is giving them a little bit of stats not really necessary i shouldn't have chocolated that but there's no reason to level up the pteranodon either okay hold on wait it's actually gonna get to use all three of its abilities of course it doesn't matter because it kills everything beforehand but there we go that was so perfect um Pteranodon double pill. Wait, what? Blobfish with double Pteranodon is so awesome. You could get three experience. It's too bad it doesn't do anything, but I should have taken it just for fun. Another Pteranodon. Well, I can sell the T-Rex, I guess. Um, I guess we'll try to get this so it doesn't die to any snipers, really. And, yeah, probably just we'll put in the triple Pteranodon next turn. Although, I still... I wish I'd see a Stingray so I could get that. And I guess I still would take Melon over Garlic. I mean, you can see it's living with 2 HP and just wiping out the team. Very satisfying. That's 60 damage. That's a lot of damage. That's, like, the most you could really have. Like, Leopard at level 3, I guess, is dealing 75 damage. But this, also, you don't have to level up the Pteranodons, because each Pteranodon... I mean, okay, how many triggers, ideally, could I get? I could get three from the Egyptian Vulture. I could get one from the Lionfish, and then I get one from each Pteranodon. So, three, six, seven total triggers possible which would be absolutely insane. Nothing's going to live that, because 60 times 7, 420 or whatever. Oh, what the? Tiger Mantis Shrimp actually kills my team. Did not expect that. That is kind of crazy. I guess maybe I should look for protection instead of taking a banana. Oh, well, just taking a random banana. And uh, pretty much an entire 50-50 squad. 60 damage there trades pretty well and then just finishes this to 60 and the Tranodons didn't even get to do anything like the entire time oh well the team is just too good it doesn't get to show off the full experience chicken leg all right sure and a melon all right in case oh okay i was thinking of melanie and the Tranodon in case they have like a level three dolphin or something or a leopard but this could also work. Maybe I'll get a triple kill. Okay, interesting. Tiger uh, Chameleon. That's a lot of damage, but everything does just die instantly. And somehow I live with 2 HP. That's a fun team that I've ran before. It's hard to make it work in the end game. But there we go. Turn 21 win. Fun team. Thanks for watching. See ya.